The idea of a pack house was conceived a few years ago. But in July of 2019, there was a search for an appropriate and suitable location. The IRDC in Otsa was one of those. The IRDC in Lakai, the Ange Black Bay and Farmers Cooperative, and the Grace Bellevue Farmers Cooperative. But with the input of our Minister of Agriculture, we decided that the Pakao should be in the IRDC in Otsa, and we welcome that. The renovation of the pack house was funded fully by the government and people of Taiwan, and the SLMB, St. Lucia Marketing Board, invested heavily in the purchase of the equipment. It is my honor to welcome everyone to the opening of this pack house. The commencement of operations at this facility, I think is going to greatly enhance the efficiency of the services of the marketing board and also allow us to uh, pre-provide a service and produce of a higher standard and quality to our customers. The, the facility will not only serve or be of benefit to the St. Lucia Marketing Board, but I think to our farmers, this will be of great assistance to our farmers in uh, um, allowing them or enabling them to enhance the quality of the produce that they deliver to the St. Lucia Marketing Board and um, in, um, on a wider scale, the public of St. Lucia in general. The other facility, we intend that um, other agencies would benefit from the use, especially our exporters, where they would be in a position to pre um, present to the customers a produce that they know is um, of high standard and meet the requirements of the of the of the of the customers. So um, this 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 facility, I think, will go a long way in allowing the, the further development as far as the agricultural sector is concerned. In conclusion, I just want to say on behalf of the St. Lucia Marketing Board, I will pay our gratitude to all who contributed to making this um, a reality. And um, I know that you're going to be identified individually but I just want to take this opportunity on behalf of the St. Lucia Marketing Board to express our gratitude for having selected this, this, this area of the St. Lucia Marketing Board premises for the um, uh, establishment of that facility. I want to thank you very much. Good afternoon. This is something that my agency, Export St. Lucia, has seen and articulated was needed. I want to thank the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph in particular, for your quick action on this initiative after the need was brought <coughs> after the need was brought to your attention. Undoubtedly, our products and services are world class. We can compete on any stage in quality and taste. One of our greatest challenges lies in the acquisition of regulatory standards for market entry. So we're speaking about HACCP, ISO, GAP, GMP, all serve not just the purposes of safety and best practices, but allow us to access the most coveted markets. This pack house is a huge step in the right direction. Now our farmers have a facility where they can prepare their produce for domestic and international consumers. Export St. Lucia is currently working on replicating this feat so that a greater percentage of the farmer population will have access to such a facility. Our ability to reach the wider EU outside of the UK, the United States and other countries has just been fortified today. 
These countries have become increasingly wary over the last decade about the procedure and processes used in the preparation of food or anything for human or animal consumption. At the risk of sounding cliche, COVID has further exacerbated this insistence on minimizing or eradicating any risk of contamination along the pro production or production process. This completed initiative will give our buyers greater access to our processes and by extension our exporters greater reach. Lastly, on behalf of my board, the management and staff of Export St. Lucia and our clients, I would like to express heartfelt thanks to the government of St. Lucia and the government of the people of Republic of China, Taiwan, through His Excellency Peter Chen, for this much needed intervention. This really is a formidable step in the right and challenging export direction. I thank you. I believe that in the vision and in the planning that over the years when Minister Ezekiel has served as Minister of Agriculture, we have seen much progress in the area of development of the agricultural sector, not just in what we plant and what we grow and what we eat, but in sourcing out the right markets, in building the facilities that are required to take agriculture to the next level. Because as you develop as a society and as you grow and you become more financially capable, some people do not want to go and buy green bananas and peel the green bananas because they don't want their hands to stain. And so I am hoping that the pack house will be able to supply, if it's five fingers of green bananas well peeled in a bag, and that you can buy and just drop it in the pan and put it to cook. Because you see, we see it happen in other places and we limit our ability to source that market. Just like you buy rice and lentils and just wash it and cook it. Why can't we buy what we produce in St. Lucia and do the same in the preparation before it gets to the family table? And so I applaud the work being done. I applaud what is happening with Export St. Lucia and I know that my constituency is benefiting directly when you help our young people to become exporters. They buy from the farmers from far and wide, not just within the community, but throughout St. Lucia. So the opening of this place today, this pack house, is welcome. And I think that it would be an encouragement to our farmers to continue to produce because markets are being sourced. The linkages between tourism and agriculture is strong. And while we are in the COVID environment, it gives us a good opportunity to prepare ourselves for the rebound of the market to get greater share of what is happening in this area. And so to my colleague minister, I applaud you and your department for the great work that is being done in the agricultural sector. So I applaud all that is being done and I would not end if I did not say once again on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia and more so the constituents of Castries Southeast Mr. Ambassador, we would like you to convey our sincerest gratitude to the government and people of Taiwan for your continued support to the agricultural sector. And to all who are here, God bless you. And I look forward to a very profitable venture operating right here in this constituency. I thank you. It's great to be here with you all. And in recent weeks, I have been thrilled to walk into the supermarket 
not because of the Black Friday sales or the Christmas is just right uh, in the corner, but because I have been able to see the advertisement boards and flyers of the high quality fruits and vegetable section under the Sanusha Taiwan Bilateral Seven Crops Project. Minister Ezekiel Joseph, I want to thank the leadership and the enthusiasm of you and your team in implementing the Seven Crops Project, including numerous capacity building workshops, eye-catching farmers market, the agriculture intelligence system, the three waiter station, and the reason why we gather here today, the establishment of the packing house. It's the third time that uh, Minister Guy Joseph and I uh, have met uh, within these two weeks. Every time we meet means that Taiwan and St. Lucia have either achieved another milestone or initiated another mutual beneficial project. For that, I thank you. And i also like to express my appreciation to other partners who came on board to make this project a success. Fruit and vegetable packing house will play an important role as part of an effort to improve produce grading, quality of packaging, and the selling numbers of gradation. Not to mention, we have already observed the success of the packing house during the distribution of fresh produce relief packages to local communities and households in need by the government of St. Lucia. While the COVID-19 crisis is something that none of us could have ever imagined, the completion of the packing house will be a transformational moment to emerge from the pandemic stronger. The packing house is not only a house for agricultural products, it is a house for farmers, for better life, and for hope. I sincerely hope and wish this meaningful project will bring confidence to both farmers and customers, and it will further strengthen the friendship and cooperation between our two peoples. Thank you, and may we all stay safe and healthy. Today we are here to formally open the pack house. And why a pack house? And some of us have articulated the reason for a pack house. So I will go a little further. Because based on discussions coming out of a visit with my Prime Minister in the UK sometime in 2019, what we realized that apart from the potential for expanding our market share as it pertains to bananas, there's also a call for us to look at other crops and a number of other crops, and based on discussions with um, Ms. Daniel and, and her, her team, there are another other, of other crops that have potential for us to export to the UK, um, but with, without the requisite facility, it would be very difficult for us. And that is why when the idea came and I had discussion with your head of technical mission, we saw it was necessary for us to construct this back house, which will provide an opportunity for us both First of all, to satisfy ourselves that we are producing quality products, we are producing healthy products, both for the local market, most importantly, and of course for the export market. So I'm happy that we have seen the, the completion of this facility. What we have told ourselves as a government, and that's a vision, whilst we are going to do the grading, um, and the grade A's and the grade B's would go into the supermarkets. What happened to the grade C's? And as a government, we have, again, Ms. Daniel is very, very, very much involved in this. We had a very focused school feeding program. And the intention of the school feeding program was to see how we could expose our students to locally grown products. And of course, that would create a market, a reliable market for our farmers, because the school populations are over 24,000 students at both secondary 
and primary school. So here it is, there's a reliable market we can tap into as it pertains to the school feeding program. So the pack house now, and with St. Michelle Marketing Board being directly involved, would be responsible for the products that we don't see as a grade A, but not because it's, it's bad, that's because it's the shape or the size, you know, we could have processed it and fit it into the school feeding program. And so that's why I'm happy that we um, today have seen the need to, um, to, to open this facility and to have it operational. So I'm happy we are here today in um, opening this pack house, and, and I'm really looking forward for the type of impact we know it can create um, as it pertains to um, the agricultural sector. Just quickly, I'm going to give the more power a patois. Jordia nous nous call this act car over pack house la pack house la c'est un projet qui finance by the government and people of Taiwan. Projet ça c'est un projet que nous qui acheté acheté toutes ces dawia farmers qui produit marketing board qui qui porte ici à um, ça nous qui fait nous qui grade li nous qui nous qui test li nous qui et puis nous qui ça nous qui grade A qui nous qui vous voyez pour ce market là et puis hôtel là et puis grade B et puis grade C nous qui process li voyez à des school feeding program là et ben nous qui vous voyez bah l'hôpital nous qui voyez l'autre côté moi je voulais dire that um, based à souci pour gouvernement Taiwan um, nous where that nous a accomplish situation ça et puis quand nous a dit avant qu'au gouvernement nous a restructure marketing board et puis aujourd'hui a nous a ouais la décision ça nous prend pour restructure marketing board qu'a qu'a benefit à recoller cette ici confiance en farmers en marketing board qu'a qu'a développé il qu'a continué et puis merci oui that quand nous a continué fait plan quand nous a fait changement board là management en marketing board Ka I continue to engage farmers and we will have a benefit um, um, So in closing, I want once again to say thank you very much um, and I'm really looking forward for more of our programs being implemented and I want to say to you, Mr. Ambassador, likewise, I will follow my colleague minister to, for you to express our appreciation. Um, I'm not speaking as parliamentary representative now, I'm speaking as the Minister Responsible for Agriculture. <laughs> our, our, our appreciation for the support that your government and people have given us over the years. And I'm very looking forward for us to continue this collaboration, and I'm sure um, the impact will be felt by all. So thank you very much.